Hi everyone, Juliana here. Today we'll be using some of the fresh strawberries I just picked at the strawberry farm I visited. And I'll be turning them into a delicious strawberry herbarium tart. It was such an amazing day, and you can find the video of my food adventure here. Rhubarb is also a very new ingredient for me being from Brazil, but I know it's super popular in Canada, so I wanted to show you how to make the perfect recipe. You start by washing your berries just before using them. When you first get your berries, store them in the fridge and wash it until it's time to cook with them. I like to dry them using a solid dryer and also paper towel. Rhubarb is technically a vegetable, but because the most recipes use it like a fruit, rhubarb was reclassified as a fruit. When you first get it at home, wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate it. Rhubarb has this long stem and large green leaves which are not edible, in fact, they are slightly poisonous. So, always make sure to cut them off and throw out. Before using it, give it a good rinse and cold water. Cut the rhubarb just before you plan to cook it, so the pieces don't dry out and lose essential vitamins and minerals. Cut both ends, taking off the hard seam. Chop the rhubarb in little pieces. Rhubarb flavor is much more tart, usually used with sugar and sweet dishes like jams, tarts and pies. Cut the strawberries for the top and for the filling. Remove the green tops and cut them in halves. A half cup for the filling and one more cup for the topping. Save some nice ones for decoration. Now for the crust, add 200 grams of butter and 180 grams of icing sugar to the mixing bowl and mix until it's smooth. Scrape the sides down and add 45 grams of eggs. Mix until combined over medium speed. Add 1 teaspoon of vanilla paste or extract. Mix 300 grams of flour and 2 grams of salt and add to the bowl. Mix in low speed until well combined. You can finish mixing the dough over a flour surface. Cover it in plastic wrap and refrigerate. In the meantime, make the filling. In a medium pot, add 380 grams of chopped rhubarb, 150 grams of sugar, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir and cook over low to medium heat until it gets thick and the rhubarb breaks down. It will be about 10 minutes. When it's ready, turn the heat off and add the strawberries and a teaspoon of vanilla paste or vanilla extract. Let it cool down to assemble the tart. Now we're making a French pan or almond cream. Mix 200 grams of butter with 200 grams of sugar until smooth. Add the three eggs and mix until combined. 
makes 200 grams of almond flour into 70 grams of all purpose flour and add into the bowl. Mix over medium speed until well combined. Add to a piping bag to put into the tart. Get the dough from the fridge and roll it in two pieces of parchment paper until it is bigger than the size of your pan. Freeze the dough before assembling the pan. Measure all pieces according with the size of your pan. this dough, I like to cut it very cold and assemble the pieces in the pan. Preheat your oven. If you have leftover pieces of dough, just make some little tarts and freeze it for another occasion. Or just save the dough for another tart. Bring the dough from the freezer. Cut the excess of the dough. And poke it with a fork to help it cook evenly. Place a piece of parchment paper, the same used for rolling, on top and add some beans or rice. Bake for 15 minutes. Add the rhubarb and the strawberry filling. And add the frangipan on top of that. When assembling the strawberries, you will want to do it in a way that every piece you get will have strawberries on it. Bring it back to the oven and bake for more 25 to 30 minutes until the top has that nice golden color. If you want to give the extra shine, use a glaze on top of the fruit after it's been baked. You can find the glaze on my Amazon store, the link is in the video description below. The butter and the almond from the frangipan together with the fruits give it a very nice flavor combination, sweet and tart. But not too sweet, you will want to eat the whole thing. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe and to check out my Amazon store, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time!